Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and today I'm going to show you a supercharged version of Autodesk Sketchbook. I'm using the Pro subscription, which is very reasonable. I think it's like $1.99 a month. Um, and it's, it's great. And it gives you the addition of um, a whole bunch of brushes that you can use by a variety of different um, people with different styles, which I, they're actually really, really nice. It's very, very fast, um, very little to almost no lag. There's uh, stabilization and predictive stroke uh, functionality. And the color blending is really nice. So um, the extra functionality that I'm going to be sharing uh, is really actually very difficult to set up, but I took some time to make it simple or simpler so that you guys can adopt this without too much trouble and probably take you a couple minutes, um, maybe five minutes. All right, so number one, we're going to move this panel so that the, and I'm using a Surface Book 2, 15 inch, so that this circle is right in line with the webcam. Okay, now I've made a auto hotkey script that does a few things. That to me is um, this is the best. I, like I love it because if I'm if I'm drawing with a brush, all right. So let's go ahead and put on the smooth stroke. All right, so we're getting some nice, beautiful lines. Okay, let's change it to the predictive one so that we can do a little bit more organic work and have it smooth out. All right, we're gonna adjust the brush size. And then let's switch to a different brush here. All right, that's too small. Let's bring that up. Let's add uh, a couple of different colors. All right, that's not the brush that I'd like to use. Let's use this one. I like this big square brush. It's real chunky. And let's pick some prettier colors here. And then let's, let's, uh, oh, that's not the one I like. And we'll blend them. And that's erase. I like this eraser. It's a uh, pressure sensitive, which is different than most of the erasers. Most of the erasers don't change size. And I like the pressure sensitivity on this one. And then let's go ahead and blend it one more time because I like to blend. All right, uh, let's make a selection. And we're gonna, uh, oops, we're gonna copy that. And we're gonna make a new layer and we're gonna paste it onto that new layer. Okay, and then I, I think I need to reset this. The transform is actually the tool I need, not V. Okay, so basically what I'm demonstrating, uh, and I wanna actually do some speed painting tutorials, although I, I feel largely unqualified. However, I can demonstrate what my process is like, and you guys can um, pull snippets from it because it is very unique. Um, all right, so this is the uh, artist pad that I made specifically for Sketchbook. The name of the file is called Click Mouse Position Sketchbook. And this is in the Community Assets folder, which I will show you here. If you subscribe on tabletpro.com, it gives you access to this folder right here which is uh, and modify and then it's pen button remapping 
and then you find, oh, not pen button remapping. Sorry, that's in AutoHotKey scripts. And then you'll see uh, sketchbook AutoHotKey. Uh, I have one also for OneNote, which I'll make a video of shortly, as I think that one is is um, is very similar. It allows you to change the um, brushes and go to an eraser selection tool and everything with the toolbar on the side, clicking mouse position. All right, so um, a few additional things. Um, Let's see, I am working on a script with a artist uh, whose name is Marius, and uh, what we're doing is we're making a small tool to allow you to change what the buttons on the Surface Pen do. Now this one, this has two buttons because there's a Wacom Ink um, pen that has two buttons that works with Entrig. It's a dual protocol pen. Um, all right, so that, and then if you see up here that there's different key presses, it is sh it's showing exactly what is going on on the screen. Um, that is a tool also made by um, Marius, and Marius is the one who I'm working on to make this, uh, uh, the pen remapping application. So um, that program is called... Uh, key press OSD and um, I will also put a link to his work uh, in the I like to say show notes in the uh, video description all right you guys there's a lot more to come um, uh, please subscribe I'd love to have a great big user base of people that can benefit from some of the work that I'm, I'm doing I'm spending a lot of time on it and I think it's really really cool and as an artist, I think it's very helpful, which I probably don't need to explain why that is. All right, you guys, uh, thanks for watching, and until next time, stay creative.